the camera. About to get serious oh. up in here. Oh, shit. Neil is here with Tio and James, special guest. Yay! And so we're going to start off with a shot to get things rolling. Oh, my. Cheers. <sighs> you're, supposed, you're supposed to say that beforehand. No, well, you're supposed to tap it on a table. Oh. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh my god. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> gotta do it right. Get over. May bleeding piles assail you, and corns adorn your feet, and crabs the size of coconuts stomp around your balls and eat. <laughs> and when you're old and 80, a syphilitic wreck, may your backbone fall right through your ass and break your fucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Oh, Hit it on the table, Teal. Hit it on the table, Teal. Right. Do it right. Okay. Woo! Good way to start the night. Woo! Okay, we are recording. Good. <laughs> so we have to do that all over again. Oh my god! No, you're ruining the magic. Now people know it's all scripted. <laughs> oh. Whoops. I'll just cut this part out. There you go. There you go. And all the parts where I call for wine. Yeah. I'm gonna call those out. Yeah. But see, now I'm not going to cut this part out because I'm meta like that. Dang. But Your Vidme is yeah. doing really well, right? It is. I'm at almost 200 followers now. Dang. Yeah. By the time this video goes up, I might be at 200. That'd be so, cool. are we saying this is the, the number 200 video celebration? Is yeah, that what is? that's yeah. what this is. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for 200 Ooh, followers. Yay. Yeah. yeah. This is planned. Yes. <laughs> Surprise. <clears throat> Told you it was all scripted. Welcome to the void. I should say that more because it's like we're in a void. We. Uh, that's true. The blood sacrifice I had to commit just to get here to spend the evening with you here yeah. in the void. Yeah. As a woman, I have to commit a blood sacrifice on a monthly basis. Oh. So I'm covered. I can go to the void as much as I want. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. <clears throat> yes. So, the real-ish reason we're here is to talk about embarrassing... Well, not necessarily embarrassing, but just dumb things we thought as kids. Oh my god. I know, so right? So many. <laughs> so many. Does the guest want to start? Oh my gosh, so, okay. <clears throat> oh, he's got one prepared. Not that I immediately want to get sexual with this. <laughs> but I'm going to. I used to, so when I was a kid, I saw like a, I don't know if it was a nature documentary or what it was, but I figured out that, you know, cats have barb penises. <sighs> oh, yeah. And I totally thought men had barb penises. <laughs> 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 and for, a, oh my God, a long time, actually. I think it, it wasn't until I had that first, like, that first venture out onto the internet at the tender age of 13, where I was like, oh, I'm old enough to look at naughty things now. <laughs> I literally thought men had barbed penises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I don't anymore. That would be, that would make the dating world very so, like, odd. <laughs> when you dealt with your own penis. I didn't. You know what I mean? Like, you just, like, pee. But, like, uh, the sexual stuff didn't happen for quite a while. So, like I said, until I was, like, 13 and I went on the like internet, I, I, I didn't mean, even know. What I mean is, like, so you thought men had barbed penises. Yeah. Did you just think... I thought it was, like, inside, right? That it, it was, like, this, like, little claw that would do come... Something. Exactly. Yeah. Teal's got it. For a while, oh, like... God. It was, like, spooky claw. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. For a while, I thought that maybe guys did, like, a red rocket thing, like, dogs, <laughs> too. <laughs> Because we had dogs, and you know, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they get excited, so I was like, oh my god, is that what guys look like? Do I have to look forward to that? Maybe not the most embarrassing one, but that is pretty up there for me. That's a pretty good one, yeah. It's a really good one. <laughs> what about you, Teal? Ouch. Yeah. Neil's heard all of my stories. Right. Neil and I talk about this a lot, but, um... Which one? I hope it's a good one. I'm just going to say the first things that come to mind. Of course. Don't pressure me. <laughs> uh, um, you're going off script, Teal. Jesus. <laughs> um, I was really anxious all the time when I was a kid. I'm mm -hmm. still really anxious. I have an anxiety problem. But mm -hmm. I, I like a lot of the shit that I thought and worried about as a kid was just like anxiety all the time. But we would go out on the boat a lot. It was just like kind of a smaller fishing boat sort of a thing. And um, I, like <laughs> I was really worried that... Um, when we took the anchor out and put it over the side, if mm. the water wasn't shallow enough and it didn't hit the ground, it would pull the whole boat over. 
<laughs> Which is stupid because, I mean, obviously, like, if it was that heavy, it would have sunk the boat in the well, first right, place. But, you know, but I was so anxious about it. I was like, oh my god, I hope that the water is deep enough here. Shallow or enough. shallow enough. <laughs> so stupid. There was a very long time where I couldn't get in any large body of water because every... Yeah, maybe this isn't even embarrassing to say, but just speaking of water, every time I would touch seaweed, I was convinced it was a shark. Literally just, just a shark. Just a shark. Not like a weird thing that might be dangerous, just a shark, yeah. literally. Yeah, exactly, because I'd seen Jaws pretty young, and I was just mm. like, oh, that spooked the shit out of me. I still don't like I, open water, and I still don't like seaweed. Yeah. That's true, like. and, and my friend Sean, way back when, uh, had convinced me at the lake behind his house that there was like these, like... 10 foot barracuda like <laughs> hyper evolved barracuda species oh, in the lake and I, so like we wouldn't swim out well i wouldn't swim out more than like six feet because <laughs> i was convinced i was going to be nibbled on by some like hyper evolved mutant yeah. barracuda <laughs> yeah oh, like man. uh there was a probably the worst that my imagination got for that was uh my dad's friend had a boat and we went out on the boat and the middle of the lake you know and uh we would jump off and we had life rafts and all that and it was a very mm -hmm. controlled situation and this is like wee and as soon as i was like in midair and i realized i couldn't see the sand under the water i'd start panicking <laughs> like midair i'd just be like fuck you know and i'd hit the water and i in my mind i knew it wasn't true uh -huh. but my mind was just flooded with ideas of like Cthulian type monsters, <laughs> like ready to just argh, grab me and pull me under, you know? And so it's like, as soon as I hit the water, I was rushing back to the boat mm. kind of thing. Yeah, I still don't oh, yeah, like definitely. swimming if I can't see the water at the bottom. It's yeah, stupid because I'm uh, very familiar me. with like everything that is in the fucking oat. Uh, the the lakes around here and you know, right? there's not. I think we are. I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying your fear is totally unfounded here, too. But Cthulhu might be sleeping in Riley, waiting yeah. for us. You know, which or might that, be under like you know, serpent right. with antlers that the. Ooh. Yeah, there's a um, like an old cryptid from like Native American legends, and it's like a big serpent with antlers that lives in one of the lakes here. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that's that pretty cool. Really cool. When I was a kid. Um, this isn't like a, I guess it's a stupid thing, I believe. <laughs> kind of. Um, I mean, it was stupid. Let's just, let's just all agree it, that everything we say tonight is going to be stupid. Okay. Probably, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. but somebody else, it was like that, you know, like one of the kids at my mom's daycare used to shove us down the hill and tell us that there was a valley monster, you know? And we would like curl up at the bottom because we were like too afraid to move. And then we would like run up the hill and it wasn't even a very steep hill. It was mm -hmm. like, you know, from here to like the ceiling. Yeah. And um, I tried to convince my little brother Jordan for a while that there were like these kind of like big fat raccoon goblins that lived in the trees. <laughs> and I think he believed me for a bit, but yeah. I don't know. I don't think I was that successful. I remember thinking I was super smart as a kid by uh, just kind of attaching to the fairy tale creatures and shit. Mm. I always thought that I was so clever by going, if God existed, I would have a million dollars. <laughs> Wow, that is really clever, though. Checkmate Christians. <laughs> Boom! Gotcha! I'm atheist right here. If God is real, I want a million dollars. Yeah, Dumb that's like, like when I was in like second grade, that's how I proved God that it wasn't real. You know? <laughs> it's just great because even when you look at arguments online now from people, you know, 18, 19, 20 plus, it is just a... It is that same argument, it's just with better vocabulary. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Or, like, for sure. arguments for, you know, either oh, yeah. way. They're just, oh, yeah. like, stupid, like, like, you see that one with the banana? There was, somebody made this video proving uh, evolution wrong because bananas are just so perfect, and he was talking about how it's, like, a pop tab to get it open and all this shit. It's which shaped is, perfectly uh, for your hands. Yeah, yeah, he went on and on. It was, like, and it's stupid because we genetically selected yeah, bananas. It's not, like, a wild did. fruit that's just like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it was now, made by Now, what about plantains? Though? That plantains are, are, are plantains um, a result of genetic... I don't know. I feel like they would be because they don't have big seeds in them. So I feel like we've no. probably True. selected Good point. against them. I mean, point. so many fruits and vegetables are, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like wild carrots are nothing like the carrots we actually eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wild carrots, uh, most of the stone fruit, if you yep. get the wild stone fruit, any of that, it's very small and pretty insipid. 
And sip I mean, such a great word. Apples are, I think apples are all descended from crab. I don't think there's any like large wild apples that are just native. I feel like the crab apple is crab just apples, the native. The... That makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I agree. I haven't seen any. I mean, granted, in this day I, and I age, like, you they're, probably they're wouldn't from... see the progenitor of apples. No, no, no. If you see a wild apple, apple, it's like somebody spit out an apple seed yeah. or something. Yeah. Or there's yeah. an old orchard and it's seeded somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, we saw that cool orchard today. Yeah, that was nice. Out it's, at, like a, um, it's like a old, cut down, dead orchard, basically. It's been dead for like 20 years and yeah. the trees are like, like rotten. A, and like, It looks like an old fucking graveyard. They like rotted lot, in the middle you know? and they have like cool sculptural shapes, but otherwise they're like bleached and they look like bones. Dang, I should go see that. Yeah, they're really nice. They yeah. they look like tombstones, but just like kind of tree shaped. Yeah, you know? it's and then like, like a graveyard. And then like nature's kind of like coming in to yeah, reclaim the area. Yeah, just a nice area. little meadow. Oh, that's cool. Otherwise, yeah, it's yeah. very pretty. And then there was the one that was like it was kind of split open, and another tree had shot out out of yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. But it was like another apple tree kind of thing. So like <laughs> the orchard is trying to come back. Yeah. Like I something. taught Neil about grafting. Yep. Ooh, yep. All right. She did. Plant grafting. Look it up. Was it's different. A, a different kind of grafting. Skin. Oh, okay. Yes, you're right. Yeah, grafting apple trees to your skin. Yeah. It happens a lot. <laughs> Never be hungry. Yeah. You always got an <laughs> apple, just fuck it off your shoulder. Also, photosynthesize. Ooh. That'd be the best part. That would be just really cool. Just sit in the sun and not eat. Have what a great way to me. lose weight, right? Just, like, chill out. Just photosynthesize. I always thought there was monsters back behind my mom's house. Like, well... It's because the there's a swamp there. there. Yeah, and I thought there were monsters in the woods. Monsters live in swamps. But like, I thought like werewolf type monsters. <laughs> you know, like the like at man. night. At night, like I was just if I walked past because uh, mm-hmm. there's like there's the fence and then the woods on one side and then it just goes back into the swamp. Mm-hmm. And at night, once it gets past the fence, it's just pitch black. And my imagination would always go wild, and just like there's this creature just watching, well, waiting for me to get close enough. To work. Yeah, I lived the in the man. woods. Well, when yeah. I was a kid, Wolfman. I... That is true. That's a Michigan it's thing. The they made a fucking man. movie out of that. It's the wolf yeah. Man. Um, I never dog saw man. Dog. Oh, thank dog you. Man. Dog man. Dog, dog man. That's it. Yeah. yeah, we live here. But when I was a kid, I slept on the Michigan couch legends. for a little while because they were working mm-hmm. in my bedroom, and there was this arched table. It was just like a single piece of like plastery shit. It was really ugly and eighties looking. And I was really convinced when it was dark that there was a monster under it. Which is stupid because there was never a monster under it in the daylight. And I don't know where the monster would come from, but I really didn't like that table. From the realm of monsters, too. It was, yeah, okay. Like, come on, this is not, this is, like, not rocket science. It was the monster from My Mom is a Monster. She was killed by violin music. I, I oh. might be wrong about the name of the movie. It scared yeah, the shit I don't out think of me. I've never seen that movie. It's from like the '80s or something. It's I think I mean, it's supposed yeah. to be funny. She kind of looked like a big gremlin, but maybe I'm remem- remembering her wrong. You I showed me that. Gremlins, you showed me that though. movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gremlins mm-hmm. scared me, which is really pathetic. Mm-hmm. But I was a wuss. well, even Mogwai scared me. Austin Powers. Like they were cute, but like ugh, the part of know. Austin Powers where everybody gets dumped into the lava scared me when I was little. <laughs> Lava's scary, watch. though. Lava scares the shit out of me. I used I'm to have still nightmares. alive, but I'm very badly about, burned. Um, to, lava and To not tornadoes. being a retarded child anymore. Right. Here, here. Yeah. I like not, being... not being a stupid, a stupid dummy dum-dum. I'm the smartest. <sighs> I like to believe that I didn't believe in the Tooth Fairy. I totally did. No, oh yeah, absolutely. For a very long time. For a long time. My memories of my childhood are really I want to say until I was like 10. I like totally believed in like magical little critters and shit like that. Mm. I think it was easier to believe in that than Santa. I don't remember what it was. See, the thing with Santa is though, there was one Christmas while I was at my grandma's. And my dad legit climbed up on the roof and walked around while my mom made sure we were awake. <laughs> and then he came back down, of course, but we didn't know. To, like, try and be like, no, there's totally a Santa. You can hear him on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's not a stupid memory. That's, that's a good memory. That's but still, like, man. yeah. My yeah, parents yeah, never exactly. did anything like that. I always hear about people, like, whose dad will, like, full-on dress up like Santa and, like, creep down yeah, and I never... like, oh, I'm Santa. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Yeah, it's that. It's that whole thing. Yeah, like, I never, yeah, my, my family never did anything like that to try to trick us or anything. It's just on... Christmas morning, there would be extra presents from that's Santa, true. Oh you know? So that's I'm 28, and every time I go to my parents' house, it's still there are presents that say, from Santa. I think that my mom <laughs> really? still does And it's, that. it's adorable. No, no it's it is. Is. I'm not complaining. Doobie doobie doop. 
There was that thing your brothers uh, believed about where food goes. Yeah, oh like gosh. your whole body was just like an empty receptacle, <laughs> and you could just like fill it with food. And they were they would talk about how hungry they were. They were like, "Oh, I'm so hungry! Like my legs are empty. I'm just gonna fill like up like all of this with food." I don't know how they thought that works. But <laughs> I think fantastic. I vaguely remember thinking like that. Like I knew mm-hmm. it wasn't literally like that, but mm-hmm. it was still like how I like pictured it. I don't know. You know, I mean, I didn't get what was, like, going on with all of this. We... For a long time, I just thought this whole area was your stomach. Yeah. yeah. Like, it would just go into here, turn into poop, and then you poop it out. Yeah, there you go. And the I heart didn't... was, like, way over here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I remember saying like, the... It's on the left. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because, like, at first I thought it was right in the middle, and then somebody was like, it's on the left. I'm like, we're over here? That's yeah. weird. Yeah, it... <laughs> <laughs> it's silly. Know. Or, uh, oh my gosh, one of my friend's mothers, one of her mothers, my friend's mother. <laughs> no, she, no, she can have multiple mothers. We live in a progressive society. Okay? Right, we, we right, understand. right, true. Okay, her mother, she had mm-hmm. one. Uh-huh. She tried to convince me that the stomach was right down in the middle. And I'm just like, look at a diagram of organs. No, it's all about the feeling. It's you know? right here. Feeling is more important when you're full, your whole stomach. I got, yeah, it's I got oh, a lot to yeah. lift right here. You got a whole stomach feels like, ugh. But she was so it's convinced because the that stomach's the stomach in the center, obviously. Was right there. Yeah, and it's a perfect circle. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's what she thought. And it can expand like a balloon. <laughs> it's both your stomach and your lungs. Oh, okay. If you didn't know. Oh. Here's a little bit of anatomy lesson for you. So the more you eat, the harder it is to breathe? I find that to be true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is often true. Often, often very true. Yeah. I don't oh, know man. if he actually believed that, but my brother used to think that... I think this is just an excuse kids have where you have two stomachs and one of them's for candy and mm-hmm. one of them's for regular food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like, oh, I'm all full on that food, but I still need to eat dessert, but though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can always fit more pie, right? You can yeah. always fit more pie. Always mm, more pie. I want pie. When I was a kid, I had a pair of these... God, what were they? They were like sort of sandals. I guess you could consider them like flats, but they were made of wicker? And they had like weird like patterns on them, right? And I thought they were my best friends. And <laughs> they talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think for a solid few months, according to my mother, because I actually I interviewed my parents today. I came over and I was like, "Hey, what are some stupid things I did when I was a kid?" And my mom just went all off on this <laughs> pair of shoes that I treated oh, like man. people. Like, because I remember, you know, Toy Story was like, I grew up with Toy Story. Yeah, you know? yeah. We all grew up with Toy Story, That's and like. True. I definitely thought that was partially true. You know, after seeing that, it's like, if I were to masturbate, all my toys would, like, go under the bed. You know? Kind of thing. Like, <laughs> like if, because there'd be eyes on me, you know? I'd just be like, turn them around yeah, so okay. we're not watching this happen. Okay, okay I thought yeah. that you meant that the toys were going to, like crawl under Cheer the bed of their own like oh i see like, no, like no, they don't no. want to look at you no i get what you mean no now. but like, yeah. like ascribing there. sentience to a toy like yeah. ascribing feelings and yeah. i still do that not not like just random toys sitting around but i always feel like shit when let's say you like you like win a bear from like a carnival mm-hmm. and then you're like what am i gonna do with this like this is just what's the point so you gotta give it away or throw it or worse comes to worse you throw it away and i immediately think like God, if I were this bear, how would I, how would I feel about being like, I my purpose totally in life is that. to bring enjoyment to someone, and my purpose is not being fulfilled, you. because, okay. Uh, I, I, still, I still totally do that. Oh, she's going to get some. Ooh, all right. This is a manta ray. We bought it for Easter. They had Easter crabs, too, and some kind of demented dog octopus. Yeah. A dog yeah. octopus. This is, yeah. an, this is an Easter manta ray. <laughs> I went drinking with Claire, and then we went to Meyer, and I uh, saw yeah. this, and I just started laughing. <laughs> I looked at its face, and it looks, like, so trashed, and I was like, me too, buddy. Yep, me too. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I was just like, do you home. want it? And she was just hugging it, going, <laughs> <laughs> like that. And I was just like, all right, let's get it. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, perfect. My perfect. brother named the um this mr big guy mr big guy <laughs> so creative it, what type of lizard is it i think it's an iguana they oh, got okay. him in yeah, green and brown iguana. but it's so desert it looks like, colored 
Yeah, it's like a desert colored like island iguana. Yeah, I mean they had the same it pattern just doesn't have the beard. in two different colors. It just doesn't oh, have the okay. beard thing. Yeah. Or the, yeah. So much it of it. It doesn't have a dewlap. I think it's, it's based face, on an iguana. His face kind of looks like a Komodo dragon to me, though. I don't um, know why. Komodo dragons are like they got really a little kind of elongated snout, and cubed. They have like kind of a chunky cube. cube. Yeah, it's like a face. very flat yeah. long bunch of squares, a bunch of lame squares. It's it's more of a rectangle, but yeah. oh, it's probably just a generic. <laughs> a disease-filled <laughs> rectangle that bites you and then follows you around. You know they you are. Die. I think they're yeah, actually basically. mildly venomous. They thought it was like the disease and yeah. shit, but they think it's a venom. They do actually, I think they have a little bit of venom, but um, the main thing is it just tears the shit out of the area, so it's just, like, ripe for infection. Mm -hmm. okay. And then um, a lot of the animals that they chase down will go and try to, like, soothe the wound by, like, wading in water, and a lot of the time it's just muddy, disgusting oh, shit. So I they gotcha. give themselves an infection. Sure, okay. All right, yeah. so what else What else? Uh, stupid things that people I do I used to or eat believe? random fucking plants that I found in the woods. <laughs> they could have been super poisonous. I could have died. Me and my friend were like, oh, let's go foraging. I don't know what this is. I like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My sister would eat a lot of dandelions. Well, at least I always thought it was really gross. Food. True. Uh, I always thought it was gross. I'm like, ew, gross, eating flowers. Just like that. God. Are I was a very flaming oh little child. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You're eating dandelion. Those are like a flower. Oh. Juice. Gross. <laughs> you smoke. <laughs> oh, I should probably get some more wine, huh? It seems out of place that the two of you are drinking and I'm not. You're not cool like us. That's right. You're only cool if you drink, kids. Neil got me this for Christmas. It's my juice cup. She and really needs frog. it. Because uh, she's good at spelling. Wrong. You were wasted the we other night. And, and another this was of in the my fridge. choice of getting you liquids so that you wouldn't. Be you did. Super dehydrated. You did. You used, she used that to give me water. You had your hoodie on and you looked like the saddest Nazgul I've ever seen. You were like, like. Neil, can you sad make a sad like Nazgul noise? Probably away from the mic a little bit. Wow. I can feel the depression. Truly. <laughs> Sauron also feels the depression. <laughs> <laughs> he feels for you. What's wrong, my little Nazgul? He asks as he puts you in his big lap. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. Aww. Aww. Oh my god. Yeah, I figure that's probably like their sad sound because their angry sound was that really high pitch, like, Wee! I guess yeah. the question would be do undead feel emotion? Do wraiths? I guess they're ghosts. They're they seem to have ghosts. like some. It basic is the spirit. Emotions. That's true. I feel like they got like angry sometimes. And sassy. They got sassy. Super, Super sassy. No man can kill me, bitch. Mm. <laughs> she got pretty sassy too. Yeah. I ain't no man. <laughs> Redneck Lord of the Rings. Uh, <laughs> I ain't no man. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of sass near the end there. That's true. Oh man, let's see. What other stupid stuff did we do as kids? I. One time, so I was at Boy Scout camp, right? So I was part of the Boy Scout troop here that uh, was actually through the Mormon church, the LDS church. So it was a very unique troop, we'll mm. say. And we went to a very unique summer camp that was all Mormon. Not that this is really pertinent to the story other than uh, to set the stage. Else? Because the real point... Yes, now. please. Hit me with another shot. Why not? Um, the real point of the story is that I, like an idiot, the first time I was there, wore my swimsuit all seven days because I thought, like, swimming was my favorite part of the camp. So I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll go to this, I'll go to do this, like, activity, and then I'll go swimming. And I don't know how many of you have experienced completely chapped balls before, like, completely, 100%. Me. me. Teal has. Me. So, like, Teal and like myself. <laughs> It was probably the most miserable experience of my life. Uh, and I can't suggest you wear a swimsuit everywhere you go from now on. Just don't do it. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. That was, I was such an idiot. If I just thought, if I'd taken ten minutes just to think about physical health. I don't think I would. I mean, to I physical health. To phys oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. To physical health. Here, here. Cheers. Cheers. Tap it on the table. There we go. I've never heard of the tap on the table thing. Really? It's what we used to do at Quinn's all the time. What? So yeah. definitely something that I believed as a kid was like, if somebody's hair was a certain way, you could just use the same shampoo that they used, and your hair would just be like theirs. Wow. Not necessarily like the same color, same texture, all that, but like if they had like curly, wavy, pretty hair, if I used their shampoo, 
I would have curly wavy pretty hair. Now, when you say a kid, how young are we talking here? Like, before I understood how biology works. Okay, but we need an age. That's a weird, like, yeah, that's a difficult age range. Like, yeah, we'll say that. Pre- Considering that I thought people had cat penises <laughs> until I was 13. That's a very difficult age range to pin down. We'll maybe. say preteen era until okay. it was about when it kind of, that kind of stopped, you know, because, like, I started understanding that it didn't matter what the fuck I did with my hair, it was always the same. Hot. Yeah. I did not think that much about it hair is fantastic when I was hair. that young. Well, I, yeah, young, no, I, I thought about like, a lot of whatever, weird shit. Cut it off so it's mm-hmm. not like bothering me. But I, I mean, that was like that frogs. was also the period when like I started thinking that, you know, it was just like I started thinking that, and a few years later, it was just kind of like that's not how it works, you know. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember an exact moment where I'm just like, hmm, that doesn't work that way. It was just kind of a. Faded it out of my yeah. mind. I know. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of that stuff. I thought, yeah, yeah, though. yeah. I never actually thought about hair when I was a kid. We always used to go to this. I had a hairstylist. Gosh, I can't remember her name. Vietnamese woman, probably in her fifties, giant fake boobs, really thick oh, accent. God. And she would always tell me I look like Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look so good. You, you look, look like Ben Affleck. You look like Ben Affleck. And I'm sorry, I know that sounds super racist, but that is legitimately what she sounds like. This Ugh. is not me making a caricature of her. Ugh. And yeah. it was just, oh my God, too uh-huh. funny. Too uh-huh. funny. Because I never thought about my hair, so it was always just shave it, shave it, just bowl cut. I had, I think, I had I a bowl cut when I was You had a bowl, had a bowl cut? cut. I, had, I have uh. pictures somewhere, not here. I have pictures of me with. I don't know if I have a picture, I like but like I definitely. Or <laughs> it was for like two years when I was. I was wearing overalls. It was between eight and nine mm-hmm. when I had a bowl cut. You know, I, my friend had a bowl cut, and I thought I would be so cool if I got a bowl cut because he was really cool. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Hair makes the man. Yeah. Gotcha. Do everything your cool friends do. Mm-hmm. That's how mm-hmm. it works. Basically. Mm-hmm. Like when I bleached my hair because frosted tips were in. Oh, Ooh. that picture! I saw it. I crept into Ooh. your sister's room, and, and I peeped that pic. I can't believe that awful. exists. I need to it's see that. It's upstairs. Pic. Well, I'm gonna need to see that picture. It's upstairs. Cause that's fantastic. Do we need to go? In? I want to see your frosted tips, bro. All right, they're uh, like not even bro. frosted tips. It's just like the top of his head is like kind of blondish. Yeah, the top. It's just blondish. like from here up is. All just right, bleached. internet, you ready to see? Okay. Everyone's ready to see. Uh. <laughs> Don't sit on your f- Oh, that poor frog! Oh, no. oh God. Even, like, Holy God. Holy shit. This is me. All right, quick, show show the camera right here. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's oh. not even like frosted tips. Or something Teal, like that a... is a fantastic Hold on. visual composition you just had there, too. That was a perfect comparison. Oh, oh, yeah, man. that was terrible. Oh, my gosh. Terrible time. So young. Yeah. So young. Yeah. It was kind of weird, right? So so I went to like some weird charter school when I was a kid up until eighth grade. Mm-hmm. And it was like combined grades and all kind of weird stuff. So when I transferred, so they had a, wow, I'm all over the place with the story here. So their grading <laughs> system was not A, B, C, D. That kind of idea. It was bad to good. And it was a numerical system. And, like, three was, like, amazing. Like, fucking excellent. You did great with a three. So when I transferred back to junior high school, they bring your grades with you. And it dropped me down to a 2.3 because they interpreted the numerical system as equivalent to a GPA. Oh, oh no! Like, oh, fucking brutal. I went from being like a, a pretty high, you know, pretty, I'm not going to say top of the class, because I wasn't top of the class, but it was pretty close, to being like kind of this... A couple, I, for a while, I was friends with, I guess what we could call the schoolyard bullies. I was friends with them because I thought, if I'm friends with these guys, they're not going to pick up. So they, they, like, during the winter, the back of the school was a huge slope down to the pond, which would ice over. So once the pond got thick enough, they would let you go sledding down this giant, and I gotta say, it was like a, it was a super steep incline. It was crazy steep, and they just provided you, like, saucer sleds. And I loved the saucer sleds. Yeah, right? Those are the best. Yeah. They go way too fast now. At 28, <laughs> maybe I'm just, I'm too much of a wuss. I, like, <laughs> I, I wouldn't do it now. As a kid, it's like if there was a saucer flood available, I'm just like swipe. Yep, that's the one to take. So they made moguls at the bottom of the hill because we thought we were super cool. 
And these bully guys challenge me. They're like, James, I can't. I bet you can't go down there without hurting yourself. I bet you will fall off your sled before you finish those moguls. And I'm like, fucking, you're on, kid. So down I go, Oof. hit the moguls, do a complete 180, land on my head, break my thumb. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> and I didn't even, at first I didn't even know I broke my thumb, right? So I'm like in the office waiting, my mom picks me up. And it's not until I can't actually physically finish playing Spyro the Dragon because my thumb hurts too much that uh-huh. we go to the hospital. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh. And I found out, apparently, so I don't know if this is medical or not, but the doctor told me like the growth plate in my thumb was damaged. So I was at risk of having a tiny midget thumb. Because, <laughs> like, it would affect the, the growth rate of my left thumb. Oh, man. <laughs> Luckily, not true. I have a pretty normal, yeah. pretty normal you person. You got a thumb. normal, per- normal uh, uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't just say normal, but I have a commonly proportioned thumb. Thanks for joining us as we talk about our childhood memories and stories of the past. And a tremendous thank you for 200 followers on Bidme. It's quite a milestone for somebody in my position that feels really good. It's really cool. And uh, hopefully we can keep this going. Here's to 200 more. And to those that join me in the future, thank you. Look out for the next video. It will be part two of our little discussion. There will be three parts in total. Uh, In the next one, you'll be meeting my mother. And she's going to have some great stories for us. So, look forward to that. See you next time.